morning! Welcome back to another episode of Tea Time with Mary. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou, and I'm still under the weather. It's been oh, a tough yeah. week, friends. Jacob is here. Yay, Jacob's back to help me film another episode. Yeah, and to try and get you on your way to being not sick. Yeah, you know so. what helps with illness? Drinking fluids. And you know what counts as a fluid? Tea. Tea oh, right. is so good for you when you're sick, particularly decaffeinated varieties. Yeah. So I thought this would be a perfect video today. So Jacob and I were in the dollar store last week. We sure were. And we were just kind of perusing. Like you do. Like you do. And I saw some teas and I was like, no way. Uh, so I bought them. Yeah. And we are going to do a dollar store tea haul taste test for you today. And it's very exciting. I don't know how this is gonna go. We have three for you today to try. Dollar store ingenuity. Never knew it was gonna make it here, huh? I know. Dream big, little buddy. I'm a little nervous about this. Huh? Are you ready? You're already sick. But first, let's drink some tea. It's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. So the first tea for our tasting today, we're starting a little bit more normal. This is Tea Leaf Essentials brand. Mm -hmm. Never heard of it before. This is Digestive Calm Wellness Tea. This tea is a mix of peppermint, rosemary, and spearmint, a refreshing cup that is light and invigorating. Mm. So peppermint and spearmint together in a mint tea is really common. I actually had some earlier this morning that was a lemongrass and mint blend, but I have never had rosemary in a tea before. Yeah, that sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm like, I'm really hit or miss with rosemary. I have no idea what to expect. Wow. So let's let's get the first pot, shall we? Let's dive I have in. little glasses for us. And we also have a bowl in case these taste like crap. That's good. Oh, oh, look at that professional pour. Yeah. Damn. I've fun. done this before. <laughs> yes, he has. All right, so this is the dig digestive calm. It's very yellow. I mean, like mint teas are usually yeah. yellowy, so that's pretty typical. These are all herbal teas. There's no actual tea leaf. It smells freaking weird. I don't smell rosemary, but I smell something else. I don't think I sm even smell mint. I don't recognize. I smell a little mint. It smells like grass. You know what? That's it. That is it. It just smells like grass. I need to stop smelling it because it is really turning me like, off. Like keep off the grass. Okay. All right tastes like grass. Taste-wise, mm. it does taste like a mild mint tea. There's definitely hints of mint. Like if mint is supposed to be the base of this tea, it doesn't taste like it's the base of it at all. Yeah. I could put up with this if I really thought it was gonna help me, but I don't know that I'm sold on that. <laughs> it's healthier just to take a 50 cent bundle of fresh mint and throw it in a pot of boiling water. Which right. if you haven't done that, by the way, it's magical. And I'm sick, we should do that. Half the price dollar store, get on it. I'm mm -hmm. getting just a hint of the rosemary. Honestly, I had high hopes for this one. I, I was kind of hoping the rosemary would bring something different to it, a more earthy quality, right. but I like, I barely taste it. Yeah. Has this been an expiration date? It's good Doesn't until it 2019. two years from now. Yeah. It's only radioactive for two more years. I'll give it, look, I'll give it one teacup. <laughs> out of, out of how one, many teacups? Out of five. I'll give it like half out of five. Yeah, I was gonna I'm gonna give it maybe half a teacup. Half a teacup out of five. Not great, I'm gonna dump yeah, the rest of this. I'm not gonna finish it either. Yeah. Bye. Bye. The second tea that we have is Gentle Cleanse Wellness Tea. It has cassia seed, horsetail herb, and fennel. This is a cup of relief that can be enjoyed every day. I love fennel, like love fennel, but I don't know what cassia seed is. Uh, cassia seed is often used in conditions like painful and red eyes, teary eyes, eyes sensitive to light exposure, and constipation. Oh, I'm really hoping that this tea tastes like fennel. Oh I don't yeah. Know what these other things taste like? I don't know. I'm nervous about this. Well, ooh. Ooh, this one's a darker color. Yeah, it's like a an amber. This looks like whiskey. It does kind of look like whiskey. Should we give it a smell? Yeah. Hmm. That smells much nicer yeah. than the first one. I'm having difficulty smelling it. Oh. <laughs> I do smell I'm a mess. The, fluid and fluid. Hopefully this will help open up. I do smell the fennel in that. I bet you'll be able to taste it. 
It's um, it's mostly fennel. I okay. like this. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's a very, I don't want to go as, as far as to say it has like a sassafras kind of thing to it, but it kind of has mm. like a rooty tea taste to it. Yeah. As opposed to like a leafy tea, like the last one, this has like a root e tea taste. It almost has like a, like a root beer kind of. Yeah, a little bit. And the fennel is very present. Yeah. Which I was hoping for, and I was right. Real sweet. Mm, this is good. Yeah, this one I could drink more of for sure. I give this like four out of five teacups. I'm really impressed with this. I'd probably give it four, 4.5. 4.5 teacups? Four and a half. Yeah, four and yeah. a half teacups for gentle cleanse from tea leaf essentials from the dollar store. Yeah. Okay, so this last tea that we have for you today from the dollar store, same brand, this is Energy Boost Wellness Tea. The only ingredient is cacao husk. The sweet aroma and rich taste helps invigorate your day. The cacao husk, like the husk around the cocoa bean, cacao yeah. bean that makes chocolate. Right. This is energy boost. I assume that there's caffeine in this because there's caffeine in chocolate, but I have no idea if it's going to taste like chocolate or just taste like bitter gross. Yeah, this is the part that they normally throw away. <laughs> I don't My actually know. Best guess. Let's see if this invigorates our days. Ooh. It's pink. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a light brown. It yeah. looks a little bit more light brown in the glass, but when it was pouring out, I was like, that looks pink. It's a pink, I don't think I've ever had a pink tea. You've never had a hibiscus tea? No. It hmm. smells like coconut water. Uh, it almost smells like a, like a really cheap liquor. It doesn't smell like chocolate, that's for sure. I'm very turned up by the smell of that. Oh, okay, well, let's just taste but, it. Yeah. Bottoms up, bebe. Sure. It tastes <coughs> like it smells. I don't like that at all. Like dirty pool water. Oh God. Like there sh was chlorine at some point, but it's not doing its job. Oh geez, you can go and dump it. Yeah, I can't. Delicious. Well then. You know what it tastes like? It doesn't huh. taste like the coconut water. It tastes like it tastes like the young coconut pulp that's in coconut water. Mm. I don't really know what to do with this. I didn't think it would taste like chocolate. It's such a different part of the plant. Maybe that's my my issue is I had that expectation. Taste like chocolate? Well, also it's a very one note taste for me, but the well, the, okay. the note is just bad. <laughs> it's not great for me. Half a teacup. Uh, so that's it for our dollar store tea taste test haul for you today. <laughs> yeah. Not all flops. Gentle Cleanse was Very nice. super different from anything I'd had and I really enjoyed it. I should try yeah. experimenting with fennel teas. Mm -hmm. Jacob, thank you again for being with me today. Thanks for having me. He's taking real good care of me while I'm sick. Hey, Obviously. You can do it on a budget. Go to the dollar store and get some tea. Just, you know, be careful. I thought that the best one was going to be the first one we tried, yeah. but it turned out to be downright no, awful. Low expectation. No. Oh, it was awful. That's our little winner today. It's a winner! Yay! Yay. That's it for our show today. Thank you so much for joining us for today's tea party. It was really fun to film. I'm glad we got to do this. Thank you for bearing with me the last couple episodes while I have been sick and trying to recover. And last and most importantly of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on Sunday. It's tea time with Mary. A one, a two, two. a scooby doo, -doo, -doo, -doo. Thanks for watching Tea Time with Mary. I hope to see you real soon. If you want to like, subscribe, and comment, I think that would be cool. Check out her Facebook.com slash Tea Time with Mary for all the content that's new or her Instagram. Twitch and Twitter, she's at Miss Mary Lou. So thanks again for joining us. And thanks for being a friend. We'll see you next Tuesday. The fun never ends on tea time with Mary. That's me. That's her. Hey. But the gentle cleanse was really, oh, hello. Hello.